Amber Prime and Frost Prime will be returning September 29th. The Fire and Ice Pack will be returning as well. So get ready, guys, for the Elemental Duo to be in your arsenal. So here are the weapons that will be returning with Frost Prime and Ember Prime. So you have the Elatron. This will be coming with Ember Prime. And looking at the stats to this weapon, this is a pretty nice weapon. Um, it does some slight damage increase. A better damage than the standard Latron. So we have critical chance is pretty good. Um, critical multiplier is nice. Status is nice. And yeah, um, this is this is another good weapon that I definitely think you guys should get. Um, of course, this is another semi, you know, uh, weapon. So yeah, I think this is a pretty good weapon. I do have to do a, a redo on this build because I did make one, but I think I definitely want to redo this one. Uh, this is another weapon that will be coming with Ember Prime, the Sakaar's Prime. This is a semi-automatic pistol, and it's a rapid burst weapon. And this is honestly another great weapon you guys should definitely be using. Looking at the stats, um, it looks pretty good, honestly, I would say. So, like I said, a rapid burst weapon. It does three shots, and then done. Uh, usually this weapon, um, it's, it's a really good one. So definitely pick this one up. We have the Reaper Prime. I'm going to click on that. Um, I haven't did a build on this because I, I didn't like the stances to this weapon. But looking at the stats, holy crap. This one looks really nice. Love the stats, uh, below. Some good slash in there. So definitely I'll make a build for this one. But, yeah, I honestly, this is a weapon I don't prefer for myself because I don't like the stances to this. Like, the stances are terrible. I just don't like how it, um, you know, you move with the weapon. It's just terrible. Usually, I prefer weapons like the heavy blades, a sword and shield, Nakanas, um, I guess fists. I guess fists. Hammers, maybe. Hammers? Yeah, hammers. Uh, not that. Uh, let's see. I guess, um, claws. We have, I guess, a gun blade. Yeah, everything above, polarums. That, nakanas, yeah, yeah, I already said that. But, uh, daggers, yeah, I prefer, like, weapons like that. But, definitely not this weapon. I just don't prefer this weapon in my, um, in my book. Because it's just it's just weird. It's it's a weird stance. But looking at the stats, they look amazing. So if you guys love weapons like this, then pick it up. Uh, I think we got another weapon, and yes, it is. It's called the Glaive Prime. This comes with Amber Prime. Let's see where. Actually, the Latron the Latron Prime comes with Frost, not Amber. My bad. Okay, where the hell? Okay, just type it in. Just type it in because it's pissing me off. <laughs> I think I'm blind. Here it is, the Glade Prime. I'm not comparing these two. Looks really nice. It actually does some good slash. Yeah, right here. Some pretty good slash in there. Status is looking good. Critical multiplier is looking good. Critical chance is looking good as well. So definitely a weapon I would use. Definitely pick this up when it comes out. So, yeah, that's all the weapons that will be coming with Frost Prime and Ember Prime. Let's take a look at the Warframes. We have Frost Prime, and then we have regular Frost right here. So, looking at the differences, the shield is a huge upgrade on the, slightly, slightly an upgrade on the Frost Prime. Different from the Frost, and yeah, that's the only thing that really just... Um, had a huge upgrade on, but nothing else has changed. Now, I definitely was thinking, like, Frost Prime should get a increase on the energy. You know, bigger energy pool for Frost Prime because he does, um, use it a lot, a little bit. With Avalanche, yes. With Avalanche, yes. It's a, um, it takes a lot out of your, um, energy. If you have Prime Flow, you still, it's, it's only at a 425 max, so... Yeah, it kind of still does, but I wish Frost Prime did have an increase on the energy pool, so that would be better. Uh, maybe armor, nah, armor is fine. 
Uh, shield? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. We were just talking about that. Health. A little bit. Health. Yeah. Health or she be fine. Now let's take a look at Ember Prime. Uh, the uh, Queen of Fire over here. And she is a really, really nice boyfriend that everybody loves. Um, back in the day, she did have a really good ability called Word on Fire, but that has now changed to Comet. Where is Ember Prime? I think she's still up here. Right here. So looking at the differences between Ember Prime and Ember, we have armor is 150. Uh, that's an increase on Ember Prime. And then the shield has an increase to 125. So not bad. Um, definitely a buff on the armor. So yeah, not like I said, not bad. But um, energy pool is looking good. So yeah, nothing has changed with the energy pool. Uh, definitely that needed a good energy pool for, like I said, Ember, because back then she did have a ability called Ward on Fire, and that would just be an ongoing ability. It'll be, you know, an ongoing ability, and it would just take up your whole energy pool. And then with um, Prime Flow, it would still uh, decrease on your energy pool. So that was a big problem, but now that's changed, and it, the Comet does not take a lot out of your... Um, energy pool because it's not a ongoing ability so yeah that is the uh, pr uh, prime frames and the weapons the prime weapons as well so we covered everything that we needed to discuss about the Ember prime and frost prime so definitely go purchase this on um, the pack when it comes out uh, there will be individual packs of course so go uh, guys when this comes out go take a look at yourself and see if you would like to purchase these weapons or not. But, yeah, that's really it. Uh, Prime Accessories will be, will be in a different video, so hold off on that. Uh, but that's really all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You guys can always hit me up. But thanks for watching. Love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video.